Since 2003, Gene Watson has traveled the globe as an internationally acclaimed singer and classical violinist. When she is not on the road, her musical talents fill the string section of the Kalamazoo Orchestra. And Jean says she owes her entire career to a simple prayer and a Christmas miracle. Jean started playing the violin at the age of seven. I just wanted to play an instrument, and the violin was the first one. I guess I was good at it, and teachers just encouraged me. And uh, by the time I was in junior high, I think I knew that I wanted music to be what I did with my life. Jean went on to earn her master's degree in music from Miami University of Ohio. But later, she decided to hang up her bow and strings to start a family. I met a man and fell in love and decided to get married. And, and that was a wonderful time and had children, had four beautiful kids. And there was a lot of joy in that. There was no regret, you know, that raising the children was the most important thing for me and family. Um, but there was always a place in my heart that maybe was a little bit unfulfilled or sad when I heard really great music. Um, it would kind of make me mourn on the inside. And so unfortunately, years went past. We moved several times. The marriage began to falter and struggle and finally ended in divorce, which was a very sad time for everyone. And so my heart went from a place of um, focusing on children and family and being content where I was to um, just a place of devastation and hopelessness and feeling like I had really left the path that God had called me to, and maybe I'd missed my destiny. After the divorce, Jean fell into a deep depression. I was living alone with the children during that time, and we really struggled financially. I had never had a full-time job in my life. I didn't have any job skills besides playing the violin. And, you know, during that time, I remember um, going to sleep at night and holding on to the bed sheets and pretending that they were Jesus' robe. You know, just hanging on to him for dear life, just feeling like if I didn't have him, I wouldn't survive. It was that kind of hopelessness. Every morning, um, the first thing that I would do would be cry, you know, and every pillow was soaked with tears. In her hopelessness, Jean remembers praying one simple prayer. Just crying out to God and saying, Lord, I'm just at zero. I'm ashamed to say it, but I don't have strength to even do 1%. You're going to have to be my God of 100%. The first answer to Jean's prayer was immediate. After I prayed the prayer, the phone rang, and there was a voice on the, end, on the other end, and he said, is this Jean Watson? And I said, yes. And he said, is this Jean Watson that plays the violin? And I'm thinking, how does anybody know I play the violin? I haven't played the violin for a long time. And he said, well, I'm the concert master of the Kalamazoo Symphony. And uh, he said, I would like to hear you play. Would you come and play for me? That audition eventually led to a position in the symphony and was the beginning of a healing process for me. Um, it was the Lord really speaking to my heart and saying, I have not forgotten about you, and I know exactly why I've created you, and you're on the right path. Jean's second miracle came just in time for Christmas. I was living in a rented house with my children, and my landlord came and brought us a Christmas tree that year, and he walked in the house, and I had made a recording of myself singing some Christmas carols for a friend as a gift. And so, coincidentally, when he walked in, this recording was playing, and he stopped in his tracks and he said, that's you? And I said, yes. And he looked at me and he said, he said, Gene Watson, he said, I don't know what you're doing with your life, but that is what you're supposed to be doing with your life. He said, I want you to take your rent money and give it to a recording studio and make a CD, and so I did. Jean eventually completed her Rent Money CD. Well, after I'd made that first CD, and now I'm playing and singing in churches and beginning to have a message inside that I want to share with people, because as the Lord was healing me and I started experiencing joy, and I wasn't 
going to sleep holding onto the bed sheets and I wasn't waking up in tears, you know. The Lord had really shifted some things in my life and just um, having something to do again that was meaningful and playing music again it was incredibly healing. Today, Jean has completed six albums and has traveled to England, Scotland, and Ireland for ministry. She hosts a daily radio show that airs in Ireland. She says she will never forget the pain of her past and the Christmas miracle God used to fulfill her calling. The Lord brought me back to life and He showed me that even though I thought I had failed Him, that He would never fail me that his faithfulness endures forever.